Have you ever wondered what the world of art does to us? It forces humans to look beyond that which is necessary to survive and leads people to create for the sake of expression and meaning. Welcome to Nubuke Foundation, a visual arts and cultural institution. Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Jennifer Somoa. So today, I'm at the Nubuke Foundation right here in East Legon, Accra, Ghana. This place is a home of art and today, on display are arts by Teresa Ankoma and other artists. So come along and let's find out how it goes. So this is a beautiful piece of art made out of cars and it's such a beauty to behold. This art is by Patrick Tegu Texan and it is called Alija. It is made up of found flip flops on suede.
This is an exhibition which is termed Look at We and it involves two artists. This particular art you can see is by Theresa Ankoma. She learned basketry from local craftspeople and uses a variety of natural fibers such as kenaf, palm leaves, jute and rattan to create a woven environment whose appearances changes as light filters through them and cast shadows within and around them. Theresa Ankoma began incorporating baskets into her installations after a visit to the Anloga Onion Market in Kumasi. She watched baskets filled with onions being offloaded to traders' stalls. Today, she collects her onions basket from Anloga and another major onion market in Ghana, the Agogloshi Market in Accra. The onion baskets are taken back to Ankomes studio where they are dyed, cut apart and woven together into sculptural forms. After I get them, she says, I go through the process of sorting them into sizes, then soaking them in water before dyeing them in a sudin, a special vessel used for this purpose, using different colors depending on the dyeing routine for the day. This art is called the jungle. It is by Lloyd Ade Aqua. She creates hand drawings of her intricate and unique monochrome patterns on various surfaces to explore the idea of seemingly repetitive activities. With time, her initial process has evolved into a process of cutting and creating soft sculptures. For Lois Adiakwa, she is particularly drawn towards a process that is physically, mentally and emotionally draining. Starting with little actions, she carries on in almost frenzied movement until the effect are amounts of material synthetic leather. <laughs> 